Hello and welcome back uh, to our videos. Uh, here we're going to begin a section on counting rules and probabilities and look at some of the basic rules and, and laws of probabilities. Uh, this first exercise we're just going to look at one way that we can illustrate uh, different possible outcomes from an experiment and then later on we'll see how we can use that uh, that type of graphic to determine and calculate probabilities of of things occurring. So in this exercise, uh, here we have a scenario, mom and dad are willing to pay for our tuition if we live within a radius of home. Uh, there's two colleges within this radius, um, but we're not quite sure yet what we want to study. So this is sort of a decision tree, uh, and, and it's practically identical to something that we can use for, for, for assessing uh, outcomes from an experiment. So basically, um, all I'm going to have here uh, so we'll have one node here. I have uh, this is going to be uh, which university am I going to choose? So I have two two colleges, two universities. So I can have either option A or I have option B. And then at each of those colleges, uh, there's three uh, three different majors. So let's say I don't know economics economics, accounting, I'm going to have to move these, uh, econ, accounting, and uh, I don't know, biology, just to give myself something to work with. So if I go to college A, well now I can choose between these three uh, majors, econ, accounting, or biology. Uh, or if I go here, I can choose between those same three majors, Econ, Accounting, and Biology. So that's, that's all there is to producing a tree. It's really just a graphical representation uh, of the different possible outcomes, in this case of a decision process, uh, or as we'll see later, we can use this for a random experiments. Maybe I'm flipping a coin. Which which university am I going to go to? So it's either this one or this one. Okay. Uh, what are the possible experimental outcomes? So in this, by by producing a tree like this, I can see quite clearly what those different experimental outcomes are going to be. I have college A, economics. College A Accounting, College A Biology, College B Econ, College B Accounting, and College B Biology. So I have six possible outcomes. Notice that's two times three. So there's six possible outcomes. Um, in this decision or potentially in some experiment. Okay, so that's all that there is uh, to producing uh, a decision tree uh, to identify the number of possible outcomes from an experiment uh, or a decision. Okay, nice short video. Thanks for watching.